Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we are going to solve one very interesting problem from system of equations today. Equations are x plus y over z equal to 2, y plus z over x equal to 2, z plus x over y equal to 2, x, y, z positive. We have to find out x plus y plus z value. So let's write our equations. Let me consider this is 1. And this is equation number 2. This is our equation number 3. I will take LCM or you can say equation 1 we will multiply with Z. Equation 2 we will multiply with X. Equation 3 we will multiply with Y. Both are having same meaning. So XZ plus Y I am taking LCM straight away. 2Z. Equation number 2 I can write XY plus Z equal to 2x. Similarly, I will write third one as yz plus x equal to twice y. Now I will add all the three. I can write xz plus xy plus yz plus x plus y plus z equal to twice x plus y plus z. Now I will take away x, y, z from both sides. So I will get my equation x, z plus x, y plus y, z equal to x plus y plus z or z. This is our equation. Now what I am going to consider, I will give substitution to this equality. I will consider this is my a, one variable. I gave a. Okay. Now I will find out x plus y plus z whole square identity. My target is to evaluate x square plus y square plus z square. So let me write first formula. So that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So I will write 2xy plus 2yz. So 2 is common. zx. Now you can see this is a, so I will write a square. So let me write here a square equal to x square plus y square plus z square. And this is again a. This is a, so I will write 2a. So what is conclusion? We have calculated the value x square plus y square plus z square, and this value is a square minus 2a. Remember this result and this one is xy plus yz plus zx is equal to x plus y plus z. Now, I will consider the first equation. I will multiply first equation with yz. So let me write here into yz. Second equation I will multiply with xz. And third equation I will multiply with xy. Let's do it. So what I will be having, I will write xyz plus I will write z will be cancelled out y square equal to twice yz. This is our first equation will be. Now once you will multiply second equation with xz, see what will happen. This term would be xyz or xyz. And second term would be z square. x term will be cancelled out this time. And this would be 2xz. Okay, this is our equation number 2. Similarly, third equation we will write xyz plus x square is equal to 2xy. Now I will add this equation again. So I will get 3xyz plus x square plus y square plus z square equal to 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. Now we have just calculated x square plus y square plus z square value. That was a square minus 2a. This value, it is a square minus 2a. And see, this is what we calculated or we presumed actually a. So let me find xyz from here. So I will write 3xyz plus 
ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए इक्वल टू टू ए सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन राइट थ्री एक्स वाई जी टेक ए टर्म टू द राइट सो आई कैन राइट फोर ए लेट मी राइट फोर ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर सो एक्स वाई जेड वैल्यू इज फोर ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो फार वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जी स्क्वायर दैट वॉज ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए एक्स वाई जी इज फोर ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर ओवर थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट वॉज ए एक्स वाई प्लस वाई जेड प्लस जेड एक्स दिस इज ऑल्सो ए दिस इज सो फार वी नो नाउ I will consider the original equation as so. I will take away x from equation one, y from equation two, z from equation three. Now just see how it will look like after that. So I can write y over z equal to two minus x. Similarly, I will write z over x equal to two minus y. And similarly, I can write x over y is equal to 2 minus z. Okay. Now I will take the product of all three. Why? I want to cancel each term in the left hand side. So once I will take product, multiply the three equations. Multiply all equations. Okay. So I will write x over y times y over z times z over x. This is our left hand side. And right hand side would be two minus x, two minus y, and two minus z. Okay. Now you can see this term will be cancelled out. What is left? That is one is equal to two minus x, two minus y, two minus z. Now I will expand this one. so let us expand right hand side so i can write 1 is equal to if you will expand these three brackets multiply then i can write 8 minus 4 times x plus y plus z then i will write 2 times xy plus yz plus zx and then i will write minus xyz now we have to put the values now I will put x plus y plus z equal to a as we all know in terms of a, and this term is 4a minus a square over 3. So only we have to put the value. So let me put over there. I will write 8 minus 4 times a plus 2 times a minus. So if I will write this one minus 4a. or i have to consider in this manner first over 3 if you will simplify this one then you will get one quadratic equation a square minus 10a plus 21 equal to 0 and i can see the two factors of 10a so i can split my central term in this way minus 7a minus 3a and if you will multiply you will get 21 as a product so once i will take a common from first two so i can write directly a minus 7 a minus 3 equal to 0 so from here a may be 7 or a may be 3 this is conclusion now we have to verify which a value is true which we will reject and which value of a we will accept so what we will do let me take here what i will do here if i will consider x plus y plus z which is our a equal to 7 see what will happen here if i will add simply all the three given equations so how it will look like x plus y plus z plus y over z plus z over x plus x over y that is equal to 6 Now see, for this set x plus y plus z or a equal to seven, if I will put 
over here 7 then y over z plus z over x plus x over y this value will be minus 1 once you will take 7 to the right 6 minus 7 so this value will come out negative 1 which is not true as we know x y z is given positive once numbers are positive you won't get negative value so this would be rejected which one is rejected a equal to 7 is rejected so what is accepted that is a equal to 3 so i will write our answer x plus y plus z equal to 3 a is our substitution that is x plus y plus z so this is our answer if you want to verify this one then you can verify same way we will put x plus y plus z plus y over z plus z over x plus x over y equal to 6 now here if i will put 3 then i will get y over z plus z over x plus x over y equal to 3 it will be true once x is equal to y is equal to z equal to 1 so our final answer is x plus y plus z equal to 3 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck